Hey everyone, Rob here, and I got some updates on what's going on on the eruption. And welcome back. It's been a little while since we've done more regular updates, but we're of course going to be giving you the latest updates on the volcanic activity that's going on in the region and in Iceland. So as of August 29th, 2024, the volcanic eruption northeast of Stora Skogfeldt has continued with a fairly stable activity pattern over the last you know, couple of days. The main activity remains fairly consistent with two active jets that are quite powerful and you can see them from this area near Vogur uh, and sometimes from the city and lava continues to flow predominantly to the northwest with some movement towards the east as well. The primary flow is again to the northwest but it is progressing quite slowly. Now I just want to show you one thing here. So here we have visuals from the ice eye. Uh, and this is the evolution of the lava flows based on these satellite images taken between August 26th at you know, around 10.17 and August 28th at 11.23. Now again, seismic activity has increased following the eruption on August 22nd, more so than previous eruptions in the area. The heightened activity with about 20 earthquakes recorded in the magma tunnel over the last you know, couple days and basically 110 quakes since Monday, you know, August 26th, uh, it's likely that due to the eruption occurring further north this time, it's releasing more tension compared to the southern eruptions that we had seen before. And these quakes are mostly confined to the active eruption area. Now, we are still observing some ground change. You can see in the graph here, there's a lot of information because we've had, what, this is the ninth eruption uh, since last November, so in less than a year. You can see all of these colors, you know, all the way from purple, blue, green, etc. We are, and I'm just going to sort of zoom in here. We are this red one towards the bottom with this circle. You can see here, it's in Icelandic, but it says Stalin. It's a, this last sort of one in the list from 2808, 2024, and that's August 28th. And you can see it's at the very bottom early stages. It's following the same pattern as the green one that was... Uh, well, basically two previous, where it sort of takes this dip and then goes down. Now, the graph illustrates the estimated amount of magma added under Svartsengi between eruptions or magma, magma flows, again, since the first one in November of 2023. Now, want to just quickly go over this graph as well. And here we have, of course, the danger assessment map. And here they've made just basically, well, risk assessment, they've made some small changes to this, and they have updated the Blue Lagoon area uh, mostly. And this has been updated and remains valid until September 3rd. The main changes include a shift in Zone 1, which is, uh, it's again, it's in Icelandic, but it's where the Blue Lagoon is. Uh, it's in a yellow now, and its risk level went from orange, which is considerable, to some, which is yellow, reflecting the reduced risk from lava flow, gas contamination, and, uh, you know, particulate matter and things like that that's coming off of the volcano. Additionally, they're saying decreased gas pollution areas in the area four, which is Grindavik towards the bottom, uh, and number seven, based on the gas distribution forecast for the upcoming you know couple days is how they came to this result. The area within the fault line, so it's area number five, uh, just sort of this top right-hand corner area, that likely will show lava development after several days. So we're, we're continuing watching, watching that area. Speaking of the gas pollution, and, and it sort of got me thinking when I was watching the Icelandic news, because they have told people to close the windows due to dangerous levels of gas pollution. And this was all coming, we're looking at MBF, but this is all coming from the Icelandic Meteorological Office. They posted on Facebook. You can see some of the, the gas levels and the danger levels. And if we go to loftgardi.is, which is the air quality, we can see here in, if we zoom in, Njartvik, which is a little bit closer towards the airport. It's this red. We can click on this icon here, go to the graph, and you can see the level of gas pollution going up into what they would call a danger zone. Now, I'm curious if people visiting Iceland have any knowledge of the dangerous gas levels, because, I mean, here we're being told to close our windows and, and 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 doors and not go outside unless it's super urgent. So what's happening to the people that are coming to visit Iceland? Are they are they being aware of, of the risk 
and especially if you have respiratory issues, uh, it'll be interesting to, to know what's going on. But again, it's an amazing sight to see. You know, do not discourage you from coming. This is not something dangerous unless you're, you know, actively heading to the volcano. As as you can see here, it's it's relatively calm, as much as you can say, for a volcano <laughs> that's uh, that's going on. But um, yeah, nothing too crazy. Just wanted to give you a quick update on what's been going on. And again, taking a look at the charts, we're seeing repeated patterns. Taking a look at the ISI satellite images of the lava progression, you can see it's sort of going towards that northwest, and you can see it's in kilometers there. And then, of course, the risk assessment map constantly changing. Purple, stay out of there. Red, stay kind of out of there. And then, of course, the Blue Lagoon is open, so you are able to go over there. So let me know in the comments if you're in Iceland, if you've come and you've seen this, if you've been to Iceland over the past year and you've seen one of the other eruptions, because, again, number nine, uh, or if you're planning a trip, because as winter's coming, it's northern lights, maybe you'll get a chance to look at the eruption with the northern lights in the background. So, yeah, leave it in the comments, and uh, until next time, thanks so much for watching.